So in 2019, in what K-File found, she said she would cut funding to ICE, writing, quote, our immigrant detention system is out of control, and I believe we must end the unfair incarceration of thousands of individuals, families, and children. I was one of the first senators after President Trump was elected to advocate for a decrease in funding to ICE. Well, now, of course, she's touting the Biden administration's executive order to crack down on the border. K-File's Andrew Kaczynski joins me now. Uh, Andrew, that's pretty um, incredible on its own um, when you're talking about what you found here on ICE. What else did you find? Yeah, and this was a questionnaire that she filled out for the ACL, ACLU. And this questionnaire is really uh, an interesting snapshot in time of that 2019 Democratic primary. Uh, Kamala Harris was trying to get to the left uh, of Bernie Sanders. She was trying to get to the left of Elizabeth Warren. And you really see that in a lot of these answers. And I want to walk our viewers through a little bit of what she said. Let's just take uh, immigration and look at what she said here. She said on immigration, she made this open-ended pledge uh, to end immigrant detention. She said she supported uh, taxpayer-funded gender transition surgeries for detained migrants. She also said she Taxpayer-funded gender transition surgeries for detained migrants. For detained migrants. She actually Yes, Aaron Burnett. Yes, yes, yes. Aaron Burnett can't believe it, man. It, it, and why is CNN doing this, man? Um, Kamala's a sister, man. A semi-sister at the least, man. Ain't this um, like some kind of istophobic behavior or something, man? Like, why are they doing this? This is this seems like sabotage, man. This seems like they're looking at the polling and they're seeing where it's trending and they're trying to be on the right side of history. They want to be, they're hedging their bets. They like they see where the country's going and they're like, oh, this chick is dropping precipitously in these polls. The honeymoon is over. And um, we want to be in the, we want to seem fair and balanced because our moderator during the debate is going to be like totally one-sided and um, partial to uh, Kamala or Kamala, whatever. And we want to just appear to be neutral, but even that's, they've never tried to appear to be neutral. Why are they doing this? Like, just think to get free gender affirming care. I like the way they did that. Gender affirming care. Like they just changed the they changed the the word and all stuff. They changed the word and they 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 so wicked with that, man. It's like taking the word torture and, and like changing it like um instead of calling it torture we're gonna call it unrequested coercion <laughs> deep tissue coercion <laughs> so if I'm think about it, what's the now listen, and this is just because this is the canary in the coal mine. If they're if the, if we gotta pay for these dudes to have gender affirming care in prison. in these migrant detention centers which is i it's not prison but it should be they broke the law if we're allowing them to have gender affirming care and we're going to pay for their gender affirming care. If I'm over there, man, <laughs> I 
and I want to be genderly affirmed, man. All I'm going to do is walk over here. Why would I pay for it over there? When if I come here, y'all going to pay for it. So basically, over there, some back room and some hut with all type of instruments, unsanitary conditions, saws and <laughs> box cutters and all this type of crap, needle and thread, stuff like that. And I got to pay exorbitant prices for that. When I can walk over here, get anesthesia put under, and have the best surgeons in the world performing on, give me my gender affirming care. That's a no brainer, dude. Like, literally, that's a no brainer. There's no discussion. Like, of course, like, yo. Of course I'm walking across the border to get that done. Like, I mean, are you crazy? That's the new thing. Like, okay, if you want that done, just cross the border and they'll pay for you. It'll be free. Or go to Juan's backyard <laughs> surgery center. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is insane. Insane. This is insane. And if you think, oh, she's moved away from this, you're crazy, man. Of course she's not going to say this before she gets elected. Once she gets elected, man, what? the second she gets elected, man, because she's not, here's the thing, she's already in the White House. So she's not going to wait till January like a normal president would do during the transition. So like usually the president has the, he gets elected in November, first Tuesday in November, and then he's got to wait till January, which is January 2020 something, which is almost three months later, two and a half months later before he can, you know, do what he wants to do. And the old president is in there trying to get everything in, pardoning people before he can leave. She's in the White House. Okay. She's in the White House. The next day after the first Tuesday in November, she is going to enact all of this stuff. Guaranteed. There's no transition period. There's no the incumbent, the old administration, you know, packing up their stuff and, you know, saying their farewells and tying up their loose ends while the new administration pulls their U-Haul trucks into the driveway. No. She can enact this stuff the next day after the election. She's in the White House. The president plays bingo, takes naps, and shoes kids off his lawn all day. If you want free gender affirming care from the best surgeons in the world, Nigeria, India, China, everywhere sends their medical talent here to get their 
medical degrees to get their residencies. Some go back, some stay. Most stay. We have the best surgeons in the world. No more going to wands, back, water, surgery, center, and some barrio and some <laughs> little town by the river. No, no. Paying thousands of dollars to have some mad person just go to work with you, go to work on you with a toolbox. No, you you cross the border, you get your gender firm and care free, man. Anesthesia put under best surgeons in the world. This the canary in the coal mine, man. This the canary in the coal mine. This is just the beginning of incentivizing this stuff. Oh no, but she's she's walked back. She's she she she's she's walked away from those. Those sentiments is 2019. Yeah, right. You are who you are. She's just going to say that to get elected. She's so far to the left that it's like, she's so far to the left that she's like, literally, she's on the right. She literally wound. She's like a clock. She just going. She's like a clock rotating counterclockwise. She just. She's going so far to the left. She's spiraling out of control. This right here, and if you think this isn't coming to prisons, if you think this is not coming to prisons, then you're crazy. If you think prisoners are not going to be next, if you think next, the, the lift on the street, on the street, where the, where they, the criminals know what's really good, hey, man, if you really want that gender firm and care, man, they don't, and they don't use that word on the street, but they're going to call it something else. But Man, just go ahead, man. Knock old lady upside the head, man, and, and take her car. Or rob a liquor store, man. And then when you get in there, plead guilty. <laughs> they going to give you like two or three years. Get your care, and they're gonna have you in the infirmary. You gonna, you gonna, they got, they gotta keep you in the infirmary. They can't put you back in population if you're not healed up yet. Yo, this is gonna become a racket. Cross the border, or get locked up for gender affirming care, the free kind. Yo, this is. It, and that's just going to be a canary in the coal mine of what's the future of this country. How far to the left we, we're going to go. Whereas if you commit crimes, cross the border illegally, carjack somebody, rob somebody, if you commit crimes, you're rewarded for it with things that you can't get that normal citizens, law-abiding citizens are ineligible for or have to pay for on the private or on the market.
and Trump can't zinger on this tomorrow. I mean, tonight on the debate, he can't zinger on this because he's got to stay away from that because, you know, he's a bad person and he's, you know, against everybody. But so he's got to he's got to stay away from that. But CNN zinged her on it before the debate. I'm so confused, man. I'm so confused, man. 